For the first time ever, the number of Aboriginal people in Canada has topped 1 million. New data from the latest census was released today. And here on PEI, the First Nations community may be growing, but fewer people are choosing to make their homes on island reserves. Sarah Fraser reports. Since 2001, PEI's Aboriginal population has grown from just over 1,300 to more than 1,700. Most of those people live off PEI's reserves, more than half in Charlottetown and Summerside. PEI's Native Council is made up of Aboriginal people living off reserves. The council says the census backs up what they've known for years. People have to realize that the, the majority of the population do live outside of the Indian Act reserves. Um, and when you look at allocations for funding, the majority of funding that goes towards supporting um, programs or services or, or advocacy for Aboriginal people, the majority of that funds is directed towards reserves. Gallant believes people have moved away from PEI's reserves for many reasons, including lack of jobs, long waits for housing, and issues with drugs. I think addictions is it plays a, a large part in terms of why people may leave the reserve because there's, you know, there's challenges when it comes to, to, um, to changing lifestyles and those types of things. PEI's Mi'kmaq Confederacy represents PEI's two First Nations, Lennox Island and Abiguit. They say they've seen the population changes coming. The establishment of the Confederacy, opening up an urban friendship center in Charlottetown that provides services to the urban uh, off-reserve community in the area. With respect to education, employment, uh, uh, those types of services, and a gathering spot as well so they can stay connected to the, to the culture. And even last month, the signing of the uh, partnership agreement with the province and the federal government. Obviously, we, we, you know, the governments have seen that coming. While the census data does show that PEI's Aboriginal population is growing and moving to the urban centres, it also shows that Native people tend to stay put on Prince Edward Island, close to friends and family. And that could be a benefit for employers. The Mi'kmaq Confederacy is working with the local business community to help Aboriginal people who decide to move to the city get jobs. So if employers are looking at, um, you know, trying to retain people, we have a workforce here that, you know, is, is ripe for development that is not, you know, most likely going to leave the province. They're going to stay here because this is where their family, this is where their community, this is where their people are. Sarah Fraser, CBC News, Charlottetown.